Joe Diaz has announced recently on his uh, podcast, Uncle Joe's Joint, episode number 242, that the podcast is now going to be going fully audio. Who would have guessed that, eh? Joe, Joey Diaz's podcast is going fully audio. No more video content um, from Joey Diaz. The podcast is going to go full audio. To Personally speaking, just from my point of view, having obviously a podcast and live streaming myself and obviously having a Patreon, sign up to my Patreon, link down below. I've noticed, and I have to be honest about it, I've noticed when I used to first record my podcast, I noticed for whatever reason that I think the quality is way better when it's just audio. There's something about knowing that no one's watching what you and just concentrating on the words you say and kind of constructing and putting together a show that I think it just flows way better. Just audio. It flows way, way better. Um, but unfortunately, in the content creation game we're at the moment, video is king because you can just clip it into many different formats and many different platforms and you can just do more with it as opposed to just audio. That's the only issue nowadays you're kind of limiting yourself in how much content you can do on top of that so that's only an issue that he's probably going to have with this but i feel like you know as an older dude it makes complete sense why he's doing this to be honest but let's play the clip anyway of joe diaz explaining why he's changing um tact and deciding to go audio only with his podcast i'm gonna get out there and do some more podcast the next week and uh as you see today we're doing audio only you know, we want to try something fucking new here. Uh, we're a little burnt out with the YouTube thing. I'm sick of looking at me. You're sick of looking at me, you know. So we're going to do different things here. I, listen, I always appreciate it. When I started the podcast, I didn't know anything about YouTube. We didn't do anything with YouTube. I really appreciated podcasting for one fucking reason. I'll tell you what the truth is. I appreciated it that it made us listen again. I always looked at those pictures from the 50s and the 40s when you see a family sitting around a radio listening to the Green Hornet or War of the Worlds with whatever or whatever fucking you know, show they were watching, Sergeant Bilko. There was all these radio pictures when I was a kid and I would watch that and go, wow, that seems so cool. It seems kind of faggy, but at the same time, <laughs> it seems kind of cool. Like when you look at it that you, that you just listened. No visual, you just sat there with one ear towards the thing. You know, when I was growing up and you got ear for, you got an AM radio, you didn't get speakers with it, you got a cord with just one plug. And you had to sit there with that one fucking, I still remember being in the fourth grade with one of those radios that had the waves that you get China and shit like that, at like 18 levels. That's the only fucking thing I ever won in a raffle. In the fourth grade, I run a fucking radio, like a CB, had everything. What's those things? You know, hey, Trucker 19, a CB radio, had everything in there. I could talk to truck drivers at night and get molested when in the fourth grade. It was fucking crazy. Anyway, you get the gist. <laughs> He's gone off a bit of a tangent. But anyway, um, answering what's the question I was saying in the chat? I've never heard Jared Mellerick. I've never had a podcast without video. I've only seen podcasts on YouTube. I don't even know where to hear podcasts. See, that's the issue, though. Originally, 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 listening to flipping podcasts would be only audio. Like most of the main places that I used to listen to podcasts audio wise were Apple Podcasts um, app, obviously when you're using your iPhone and shit. Um, there's other third party apps you can use as well, like Overcast, um, obviously um, podcasts on Spotify. But most of the time it was always through Apple Podcasts is where I found most of mine. And then there was a time when I used to search on Libsyn, but usually it's on Apple Podcasts. And um, over time it felt like, it started off with audio, then it evolved into flipping video. And now video podcasts are like a thing where some people don't even have an audio element. They just have a video element and that's it, which is obviously what, whatever it may be. But I feel like from a content creation point of view, if you're making it, I generally, generally do think that you do get a better show or you're able to kind of put on a better show, perform a little bit better, provide better entertainment by just filming or recording something audio only. There is something quite intimate, something quite, um, I don't know how to call it. It's kind of hands-on. You can have notes, you can shuffle through. I don't know. It just feels a little bit more radio broadcasty type. I don't know. There's something about it, recording audio only. I've noticed it with the stuff that I record on Patreon. I feel like it has a far better flow 
than the things I record when I stream on live, especially because on live, you're having to kind of be aware that you're putting on a live quote unquote show. You can't have too many pauses and stuff. You kind of have to just keep going and going, going, and going. Whereas when you're recording on audio, you can take things a bit slower. You can do like your NPR voice and whatnot. I mean, you can kind of go with that sort of vibe. But with Joey Diaz specifically in this point, I get it because for him, it's quite clear that he's kind of like, you know, in a whole different space. Ever since he's been to New Jersey, ever since he left LA and all the cocksuckers over there and stuff, he's clearly in a different space. Um, he's loving life. He's enjoying being with his family and friends and just taking stuff easy. He's got popping Patreon that's doing decent bits. His YouTube's still doing bits for him as well. He can do a show here and there if he wants to or go on a run and talk if he needs a quick bag. The book is probably going to do him very well if it gets optioned out for something like a TV series or a movie or he gets to do another book or he gets to do more books, right? All those things are definitely in the pipeline or definitely in the avenue. So it makes sense that he's maybe taking his foot off the pedal a little bit when it comes to video podcasting. It makes sense. And also maybe just self preservation point of view if you do want to go forward and do other things maybe review removing yourself video wires and kind of having all that stuff that you said crazy before be a little bit more in the past so it's not there's not much recent stuff that you say nutty stuff because for the most part on uncle joey's joint he doesn't really say any crazy things really you know to be honest he's kind of mellow on his own podcast um now and um, then he was on the church of what's happening now so this makes a lot of sense to be honest i'm rooting for him i've got a lot of time for joey diaz like i said he's got me through a lot of tough times and most of my kind of podcasting experience and listening has been during my hell days of working in retail working in bars and stuff working in stock rooms um you know working in pop-up shopping art fairs like horrible things right stuff that i just don't want to remember and part of the reason why i love podcasts is because because they let you actually kind of, you know, the, the day kind of went by super quickly, listening to them in the back, having one earbud in and shit, and kind of giggling to yourself at all these guys that you kind of felt like you knew. So they kind of guided you through. And of course, along the way, they kind of you dropped some pearls and sort of wisdom here and there. So um, I'm liking this evolution. And it's also nice to see, this is weird to say that, it's also nice to see this, a comedian who's not hanging on for dear life or a podcaster or a content creator. Because it feels like everybody else, they're not, they're just never gonna let it go. I look at someone like a dark side field, a bad example, but a streamer like that that's always online begging. There's no exit plan. He's been involved in live streaming gaming for like 15 plus years. He should be a multi-millionaire by now. There should be a retirement plan by now. But he's just doing the same thing every single day. And I feel like part of it is obviously, you know, being addicted to the begging for tips and shit online. But also part of it is that it gives you a purpose. You got something to do. You wake up every day and you stream games. You wake up every day and you talk about people and shit. That's, you know, it gives you something to do. But surely there should be more to life than just doing the same thing every day until the day that you die. And I feel like, you know, Joey Diaz has find those interests. He's kind of, you know, um, reconnected with his family, found some new stuff he's kind of interested in, he wants to do. And he's pursuing it and maybe podcasting and talking about you know, um, I don't know, jumping through people's windows and stuff isn't probably the best thing anymore at this stage of his life. So it makes complete sense for me personally. But yeah, big up Joey Diaz. Um, big up Joey Diaz. What people saying here in the chat to me? What are you saying? What are you saying in the chat? The thing about Bill Byrne and uh, Red Band argued about. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, big up Hando. Big up. True, true, true. I've never been to Apple Store. You should check it out, Jared Malik. It's, it's a fantastic place. Uja says it's nice connecting to my car bluetooth and just listening audio you have a good driving voice az oh big up thank you Uche. you're amazing yeah yeah, yeah. I, I think i've been in many a cars with other friends because clearly i don't drive because i'm a londoner right we don't have driving licenses here i have a fucking pedal bike right that's what i do i fucking pedal and shit but having been in cars with my friends I've had many a car rides where we've been been busting up laughing, listening to old podcasts and shit. So it's definitely a thing that people do. And I think a lot of people, which is why radio is still king, because a lot of kind of cars come inbuilt with radio and shit. And when you're on drives and stuff, sometimes you want to just listen to programming that's kind of done for you. You don't want to be changing channels. So I just want to leave something on and make sure that it sounds kind of good when you're in there. So it makes complete sense. That's why I'm actually, I can't wait until I drive. Actually, I'm looking forward to that, man. Go on long rides, just be like listening to fucking Perfume Nationalist. 
seven hour podcast on fucking iron rand right just driving around listening to fucking red scare on blast <laughs> in my little flipping nissan <laughs> listen to red scare in my little nissan it'd be sick but yeah I'm, I'm on that but yeah big up the chat big up the chat i appreciate all of you guys man